Sir, it's such a pleasure to have you with us today. We all know that the first step in developing a thriving startup ecosystem is to create an enabling regulatory environment where business-friendly policies can help founders uh, initiate and scale ventures. And if I could just tell a little bit about your organization, the SECP is a financial regulatory agency in Pakistan, and their objective is to develop a modern and efficient corporate, corporate sector and capital market based on sound principles, right? So the NIC is working in collaboration with SECP's innovation office, and we've organized this webinar. Thank you so much to the team at SECP for, for hosting this with us. Um, and we'll be coming up with many more uh, uh, similar in this series uh, to continue to bring their new uh, initiatives to you. So this is about digital onboarding of capital market investors and the sharing of KYC by banks for account opening with brokers. So the main objective is to create awareness in our participants today on this process. And uh, we'll be covering some really interesting uh, segments over here, the way forward, how to share with KYC banks. This is going to facilitate foreign investors. So if you're a foreign investor, this is gonna be very helpful for you. Transforming from physical to digital onboarding, very important implement, implementation of the KYC and CKO, which uh, half is M. Wajid Wahidi Saab, who's deputy director, he's already told us from SCCP and he's been associated with SCP for more than a decade and will be sharing uh, some very interesting learnings with us today. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm going to share the presentation. Presentation mode. And uh, all right, if that looks good, uh, Hafiz Wajid Saab, the, the stage is yours, sir. Let's, let's, let's show them what this is all about. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ramar. Thank, Thank you very much. much. And special thanks to National Incubation Center for arranging this webinar. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, for me to say that uh, SCCP uh, being Apex Regulator is playing its new role in financial inclusion in the country and took various steps for ease of doing business. Uh, for this purpose, SCCP in collaboration with NIC, a number of webinars have already been arranged uh, to encourage financial inclusion in the country through financial literacy programs. Uh, today, uh, the increase in investors' outreach for capital market is the need of the country. Therefore, a number of initiatives have been taken to facilitate investors, especially in respect of uh, digitization of the processes. Uh, the SECP has a digital transformation agenda uh, that allows investors uh, to seamlessly open their account with a broker from anywhere in the country without requiring to submit any physical documents or visit to a broker. Uh, this uh, agenda definitely attract investors from locally and internationally. So uh, before moving forward, uh, I want to share some major processes digitized during the last two years for uh, understanding. Right, please, next slide. Uh, these are some uh, major areas where uh, the SECP has digitized its processes. First is name reservation of companies. Uh, next is incorporation of companies and issuance of certificate. Uh, the client can search availability of names and apply for its reservation without visiting to company registration office. And incorporation of companies, it's so easy. The whole process of registration can be done through online, uh, through our e-services e module uh, and submit the documents uh, through in a, in a soft form. After necessary verification, the SECP issues uh, incorporation certificate through online module, and there is no need uh, to visit to the company registration office or to submit a hard copies uh, to the office for the purpose of registration of companies. For the end-to-end -end digitization process of the company, there are certain processes like uh, uh, statutory returns, like submission of documents, like uh, mortgage uh, uh, registration uh, documents. Uh, the SECP, uh, has done the end-to-end -end digitization of its regulatory processes with the launch of online facility for the purpose. There's another facility, online registration of mortgage charge pledge 
uh, companies can uh, take the uh, facility from financial institution and uh, uh, registered online uh, mortgages, charge and pledges. Uh, as per the Company Act 2017, there are certain processes that companies have to perform uh, uh, on a certain um, uh, periodical basis, such as to conduct board meetings, approve minutes, submission of annual and quarterly accounts. So these processes have already have, have been uh, digitized and enabling provision have been provided. So, uh, so uh, as but these processes will uh, basically enable the company uh, if if their directors are not in the country or uh, remote in the remote areas, they can undertake such activity. Uh, the one uh, uh, area that is digital portal for banks. The SECP has launched the digital portal for banks and allow to the banks to verify or to conduct due diligence directly accessing and verifying company's information from SECP record. And there is no need to contact or visit company registration office for such purpose as already uh, uh, practices being adopted by the banks. Uh, digitization of secure transaction registry to facilitate the startups and secure their credit from financial institutions against their movable assets. It is also fully digitized and uh, startups don't need to visit SCCP office. Uh, EIPO process has been fully digitized. Investor can participate in the IPO without uh, moving, even moving to the bank or moving to the um, uh, 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 issuer of the company. Uh, uh, the next is digital onboarding of capital market. Uh, to promote the capital formation and facilitate ease of doing business, EIPO process uh, engage in market uh, uh, capital market investors onboarding. Uh, it's easy now, and everybody can uh, uh, open their account without submitting uh, physical documents uh, to the broker. Uh, and the last uh, uh, point uh, is sharing KYC by banks for account opening with brokers. Uh, it is for local resident Pakistani investors having local bank account, which shall share client information with CDC and CCPF to open brokerage account without submission of physical documents. The last two points uh, shall be discussed in detail in today's webinar. Next, please. Before moving forward, uh, I want to share that the commission envisaged the idea to have a centralized database of different asset classes for different for developing financial market in Pakistan. So for the purpose, uh, the commission uh, uh, developed, drafted the rules that is centralized Know Your Customer Organization Rules 2017, which were duly approved by the federal government under Securities Act 2015 and have been in place. Uh, under the said rules, the National Clearing Company uh, is licensed uh, to act as centralized Know Your Customer Organization. Uh, National Clearing Company is a company uh, that basically uh, clear and settle the trades uh, of the stock exchange on daily basis. So, and uh, uh, the uh, second function is uh, to register, to issue uh, you, uh, a unique identification number to the investors. And the third function of National Clearing Company is to uh, have a risk management for the capital market. So uh, the, the, the core KYC function because it, it issues the UIN to the investors. So the said KYC function is also uh, awarded to the NCCPL. Uh, this, is, this is also called CQ. CQ performs KYC of all new customers and existing customers. And once the CQ performed uh, KYC of a customer, it is allowed to open multiple accounts without going through the process again. Uh, customers can update information from any broker. So the CQO is the organization that has complete centralized database and undertake uh, KYC of all customers of the capital market before entering into the market. So every new customer has to have to have uh, under uh, uh, gone through the CYC KYC procedure. However, the existing customers are uh, the KYC of existing customers are being uh, undertaken by the uh, CQO. Uh, next, please. 
after the promulgation of the CQ rules, the commission has the uh, complete regulatory framework to transform its uh, physical system into digitization. First and foremost, that is standardization of account opening forms and KYC procedures. Different brokers, different institutions have different forms. So uh, before that, uh, uh, the market has two uh, type of forms. One is uh, trading, uh, trading form and second is um, sub account opening form. The two accounts have been uh, merged into one form that is uh, customer um, relationship form. And that has been standardized by the uh, SROs and the CCP and the KYC procedures as well. Uh, CQ, uh, NCCPL being the CQ has the authority to independently verify the KYC information of every customer. Uh, now the account opening is hassle free and uh, investor can open multiple accounts with brokerage houses. Uh, before uh, this transformation, the requirement of bank verification removed. Before that, uh, the client has to uh, uh, get verified his signature on the account opening form from his uh, respective bank. So now this requirement has been removed. Uh, biomet biometric verification becomes optional. Uh, this uh, biometric verification is dis uh, will be discussed in the later part when we will discuss the account opening procedure. Uh, through this transformation, enhance protection and prevent misuse of client assets because every client has to uh, go through the KYC information, KYC uh, verification. So there is less chance uh, of misuse of client assets. Uh, reduction in fictitious accounts, definitely uh, when the CQO verifies the information, uh, the, the, the less chances of opening of fictitious account in the market prevails. Uh, I want to tell you that the verification process uh, will be discussed in the uh, next slide when the account opening process will be discussed that what kind of verifications CQO uh, undertake. Online account opening for outreach, one can with, you know, within the far flung area of the country can open uh, the account without uh, visiting to a broker, without uh, giving uh, physical documents. Uh, and so the account facility for low risk customers, uh, it is basically uh, the facility to encourage the uh, small investors to channelize their savings for better returns. Uh, they don't, they only need to uh, uh, go through the uh, simplified KYC procedures and uh, uh, for good returns in the market. Uh, but subject to considering the risk associated with the capital market because the capital market is high risk and high return. So the details of Sahulat account uh, shall also be discussed in the later part of the presentation. So after this transformation, the account opening process, uh, which uh, uh, previously undertake through physical uh, submission of documents, physical uh, submission of account opening forms have been transformed in the digitally opening of brokerage account. So this is the process uh, which we'll discuss. Uh, first is access to website, uh, list of licensed securities broker available at the PSX website. First, the uh, investor uh, is required to uh, find out a broker to which he wants to uh, undertake the trading activity. The list is available at PSX website, access to website of a broker, select option to open account digitally. So out, out of around 200 uh, securities broker, um, uh, I think 70 uh, plus securities broker are offering uh, digitally opening of brokerage account facility. After opening account digi uh, option uh, of to open uh, account digitally, basic information is required to be submitted. First is name, second is CNIC number, third is IBAN international bank account number, bank account number, uh, mobile number, it is mandatory for the local Pakistanis and email address mandatory for non-resident Pakistanis. Uh, I want to uh, tell one thing here, uh, that mobile number, the title of mobile number uh, should be the same uh, as uh, the bank account number and uh, as per the CNIC. 
a different uh, title with different mobile number should not be acceptable. The process uh, can not, uh, shall not be gone through uh, by the CQ. After submitting this basic information, uh, CQ conducts verifications. After verification, uh, verification like uh, the CNIC shall be verified from NADRA. IBAN number is verified from the uh, one link uh, provided by the banks. And the mobile number is verified from the Pakistan Mobile Database Company. It has a complete uh, data of the uh, mobile users. So these verifications conducted by the CQ and after uh, successful verification of this information, uh, CQ generate one-time password that is called OTP. CQ sent OTP at mobile for local and email for foreign investors. Next, please. Uh, when the customer uh, received OTP, OTP is uh, uh, four numbers. Uh, it will punch in the uh, website and to access the online account opening form. Uh, after opening account opening form, uh, the customer completely fills account opening form, attach necessary documents. Uh, and there's a box uh, to check mark, uh, which, which shows the consent of the investor to accept the terms and conditions. Thereafter, uh, investor submit the form and the submit, after submitting the form, the broker access um, the form and conducts due diligence. After successful due diligence and initial scrutiny of the documents and information which an investor uh, put in the uh, account opening form, upload such information to the central portal of CQ. CQ, after receiving the information from the brokerage house, uh, generates the unique identification number that is called UIN and create client account for the broker and tag sub account with NCSS. These three uh, codes and accounts generated by the CQO and the trading account is activated. Now the investor can in start uh, investing, uh, trading in the account and in the, in the capital market. However, the broker is required to uh, submit the form uh, duly signed and stamp uh, to the CQO. Uh, after receipt of necessary information from the broker and acknowledgement from the client. After uh, receipt of necessary information from broker, the CQO sent a message uh, to the client that uh, uh, based on your information, uh, the CQO is uh, verifying the, it has opened the UIN and verifying the information. So it seeks acknowledgement from the client. After the, after the acknowledgement received from the client, the CQ generate a unique UIC number that is called UKN. The UKN number is the number through which investor can invest, uh, investor can open another account uh, with any other broker. So there, there, will, there will be no need to fill uh, account opening form again and uh, undertake uh, uh, the uh, KYC process uh, uh, from the CQO. So this is the complete process uh, of simple uh, digital account opening form. And the documents required for uh, this account is uh, CNIC, NICOP, passport of the applicant and nominee, um, salary slip, uh, proof of occupation, employment letter, business letter, whatever document uh, is available uh, shall be submitted to the uh, uh, attached with the account of the form. Employer's letter is required if mobile number is issued by the employer. Uh, if a person uh, has the mobile number with the title of its employer, it has to submit an employer's letter to, per, to uh, open an account. Zakat declaration is optional. Signature specimen card for investor's account only. CDC is required if a person uh, wants to open an investor account, it has to submit signature specimen card uh, for the purpose. So this is the process to open a digital account. This is the uh, flow of uh, uh, information uh, through which the account of the customer open. 
digitally. First, uh, the customer submits CRF KYC and undergoes biometric. If a person is uh, um, uh, uh, appearing uh, before the brokerage house, it has to go through the biometric verification. Or if a person uh, uh, sitting at home and uh, uh, digitally opening his accounts, there's no need to have a biometric verification. After submitting the form, uh, the broker upload the CRF KYC form with supporting documents to the central portal. Uh, the central portal, uh, there is two there are two legs. One is uh, information flows to the CDC, and the second leg, uh, information flows towards uh, CQ. The CDC basically uh, open the sub account and inform to the authorized intermediary that is brokerage house, and the CQ undertakes. A verification from Nadra, PMD, and one link, and after such said verification, issues UIN to the brokerage house. Uh, after submitting the uh, documents, uploading the documents by the uh, uh, brokerage house, the CQO obtains confirmation and issues UKN to the customer. So this is the whole process uh, of uh, uh, CQO process and uh, digitally opening the account. This is uh, this account opening process is for normal trading investors, trading accounts. However, to encourage the small uh, investors having low um, uh, risk, the SECP introduced solar account facility for them. Investors are subject to simplified KYC requirements. Uh, simplified KYC requirements includes uh, only CNIC verification. So the NCCPL undertake uh, the uh, uh, verification of the CNIC and then proceed further. And no documentation required like salary slip, proof of occupation for opening of account. Uh, CQ shall verify the basic information of the investor. The initial uh, that we have already discussed that basic information are CNIC, uh, IBAN and uh, mobile number. Uh, these three information uh, shall be verified by the CQO. And there is a uh, uh, latest development is that the CQO before issuance of UIN um, shall accept one verification and uh, the rest other information shall be verified later on. So that account can be opened digitally. There's, there's the same process. Uh, limit on investment is up to 800,000. In case the investment limit enhanced, Sahulat account converted into normal account, normal trading account, and shall be subject to complete KYC and CDD requirements. So this is Sahulat account for low risk customers. Uh, next, please. Yes, uh, this is the uh, core area uh, in today's discussion. Uh, the SECP, in order to increase market outreach, maximum ease, and facilitation to NRPs uh, to channelize their savings towards capital market in Pakistan, uh, SECP has enabled NRPs uh, to digitally open their accounts for trading in stock market through their bank accounts. The SPP has recently introduced Russian digital account, and its scope has been expanded to cover investors uh, of capital market. Uh, mutual fund in seamless manner and uh, user-friendly manner and eliminating the requirements of physical presence and submission of documents. So the NRPs are uh, uh, allowed uh, to trade uh, in Pakistani capital market to the following uh, options. One is uh, international broker dealer by opening Sakra account. Uh, second is uh, directly approach brokerage house in Pakistan. Uh, third one is op open RDA account with an option to open trading account. So these are three ways to uh, invest uh, in Pakistani capital market. Uh, the last point, uh, open trading, open RDA account with option to open trading account is only for NRPs. However, uh, the foreigners have uh, first two options uh, to invest in the market. In, our, in case of RDA, the banks shall uh, share KYC of NRPs to the CDC for opening of investor account. 
and NCCPL issues UIN of the customer. There is no other requirement for submission so for submitting the uh, documents uh, to the CDC or NCCPL. However, uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, KYC or enhanced due diligence, the, the broker may ask additional documents uh, from the customer. All accounts can be opened digitally. Uh, NRPs and foreigners are allowed to repatriate their funds capital gain tax as per prevailing income tax ordinance. So uh, the, the, this, the simple process uh, to open the account uh, for the NRPs, uh, they just uh, only uh, touch their bank uh, for opening the RDA account. And there is an option uh, uh, to open trading account. Only they have to uh, give uh, instructions to the bank to proceed uh, to share the KYC uh, of their bank account details to the CDC for opening an account. So the uh, second part of our uh, webinar is sharing of KYC by banks for opening of brokerage account. It's basically the part of the whole digitization process of the SCCP and even the digital, digital opening of brokerage account. Uh, Considering the initiative of RDA, the local investors, uh, the SECP initiative took initiative to facilitate local investors and financial inquiry in the capital market. So the local investors having bank account facilitated to open brokerage account through sharing uh, KYC information of banks with the CQ. Uh, currently, Bank Alfala and Faisal Bank are in the process of onboarding to undertake such activity. Uh, it will definitely improve banks, flat aid, and uh, capital market investors. SL free account opening facility introduced without any direct interaction with any brokerage house. Through this activity, uh, just like in RDA, the, in the NRP, the foreigners, NRP is, uh, have to uh, give instructions to the uh, bank where the RDA account is open and they will share the information in the same manner. The local bank, the local investor uh, contact to the Bank of Law and Faisal Bank to share uh, their information to the brokerage house. This is the process flow uh, that how the KYC sharing by banks for opening of brokerage account. First is uh, resident Pakistani access banks online portal or mobile application. Banks provide option of investing through online portal or mobile application. The investment options are stock market investment or mutual fund investment. So the customer is uh, will choose the option that uh, which which investment option investment avenue he wants to uh, invest. Uh, then investor give consent to the bank to share information credentials with CDC, NCC pair, and other capital market intermediaries. Uh, for the stock market investment, the credentials will share with the CDC and NCC pair. And for mutual fund investments, the information shared with the capital market committee is that is asset management companies. The customer provide account number, registered mobile number, and email address to access his information, account information. Uh, bank score banking system validate uh, customer information and generate OTP. And the OTP uh, shall be uh, uh, the OTP shall be sent to the um, mobile and email uh, address of the uh, customer. The OTP is verified by the customer. Update information if so required. Uh, give consent that he accept uh, digital terms and conditions and undertakings. Uh, thereafter, uh, select the brokerage house through which he wants to uh, he wants to open the account and submit form to the bank. The whole process is through online. Uh, uh, online system, online module provided by the bank. The bank transfers customer account details, soft copies of documents with IBAN to CDC through online module. And after receipt of information, CDC intimate the customer that your uh, basic information have been received for opening up. CDC accordingly, uh, CDC and CCPL accordingly uh, transmit copies to the respective brokerage house. The brokerage house uh, undertake the due diligence of the uh, information of the customer 
and confirm to the customer and NCCPL for opening of trading account. In case no response from broker, CDC and CCPL shall contact and request for future course of action. Uh, broker may request additional information and documents from local investors to perform enhanced due diligence uh, as per the anti-money laundering regulation regulatory framework. The, after the satisfaction of the broker, the CQ issues UKN, that is unique KYC number. And the customer may update his information as and when required through CQ system. The documents required for opening uh, this account is, are CNIC, proof of profession, uh, source of income, proof of residence, signature card, the card declaration is optional. Lastly, uh, the whole uh, journey uh, of digitization, uh, the SECP uh, 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 is intends to uh, increase the outreach uh, through digital platform and uh, digital platform to be introduced to increase the investor base. Uh, through such platforms, there's an idea to introduce digital brokers offering online trading solutions. There is no need to have a, uh, there will be no need to have a physical existence by the broker. They will provide online trading solutions to the customers. Uh, customers onboarding through telecom companies, uh, one of the telecom company, uh, SCCP is engaged uh, to undertake uh, the uh, account numbering process and verification process. Uh, further improvement in the process of onboarding of investors, uh, the generation of OTP uh, based on the base confirmation of the uh, verification of the basic information. So uh, we are in the process to improve such process so that on a real time basis, the UIN and UKN issue to the investors to proceed further. Uh, we are in the process of engaging AMCs and insurance industry to connect with investors under one umbrella that is CQ. Uh, they will be on board. Uh, so uh, their investor base uh, will be uh, at the CQ and uh, uh, under one umbrella. They have the multiple options to invest in uh, stock market, invest in mutual funds, or take uh, benefit of the insurance industry. A series of webinars required to encourage investors to channelize their savings for better returns. Yes, definitely SECP is continuously undertaking and arranging webinars. And uh, uh, thanks to uh, National Incubation Center, which is, all, which is already uh, undertaking such activity uh, for uh, financial inclusion and financial literacy for the investors in the country. Thank you very much. So uh, thank you question. so much. Uh, that was uh, wonderful. So nicely put together in a nutshell, how to create your account, uh, everything you need to know. We do have a couple of questions. Let's take a look. Uh, we have one question from Mohammed Anwar Hussain. What is EIPO processor? Oh, yes. Uh, this is basically uh, before the digitization. Um, the investor is required to uh, take the form from the bank and fill in the form and submit uh, the uh, pay order along with the form and uh, submit to the uh, relevant bank. However, now the process is very simple. Uh, the investor is required to uh, open, login uh, the um, issuer's website. Even the CDC is also providing the facility of EIPO. Uh, they have the complete uh, package uh, you log in uh, at EIP module and uh, fill in the form online and uh, directly uh, credit your funds uh, to the bank. Right, right. For the detail, for for the uh, detailed uh, process of EIP, uh, you can contact. Uh, you can uh, firstly check the website. Our website. Uh, there is a procedure provided uh, uh, at our website. Uh, if you don't find any document or any uh, procedure, uh, you may contact uh, uh, me uh, or the map for any details or brochure or any document uh, for further understanding. Absolutely. Uh, we have uh, another question by Ali Rizvi. 
A wallet option should be there to work trade in KSC for low income investors, especially who buy IPOs. Ones who do not uh, want to involve bank account opening, etc., can also trade, which leads to more business. What are your thoughts, sir? Oh yes, uh, uh, I think so. The, uh, the option of e-wallet is available. Uh, Ali Vizvi, please check uh, the first the processes of uh, which are placed at the, our, our website. If you don't find, uh, please contact Nomer or uh, me. Uh, we will provide you the complete processes. They, they have the complete uh, um, package that how can you apply. I think so. Uh, As for my understanding, you can, uh, you can, uh, yes, you can, you can uh, apply uh, 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 for EIPO through ATMs, internet, and even mobile banking. There's an option. There are three options uh, which I have. Maybe uh, e-wallet is another option, uh, but I don't remember. Please uh, check our uh, website. They have the processes. If you don't yeah. find, we'll provide you definitely. Yeah. And uh, Atib, who is going to screen the customers through it? List? Oh, yes, the NCCPL undertake the AT list and UNC, uh, UNCR and NAFTA list for CTD before issuing the UIN. Uh, there's another question that. Uh, which account uh, should we first open either with the CDC or the, the brokerage house? Uh, yes, both accounts have uh, benefits. Uh, the CDC has the uh, account, uh, the control of which uh, lies with the investor, uh, but uh, the account opened with the brokerage house that is called sub account, its control uh, lies with the brokerage, with the brokerage house. So it's uh, it's customer preference that uh, which account he wants to open. It it depends on the um, if if a customer is intended to trade on a, a daily basis or conduct state trading, so he needs to open um, uh, sub account. Or if he wants to uh, have a long term uh, investment, uh, he can open the investor account. But sub account is mandatory. Uh, for uh, conducting uh, trades uh, in the government right. market. Right. Uh, like has asked a question here as well. Is the process of getting on board on mutual fund and stock market the same? Uh, process of onboarding is almost the uh, same for the um, uh, RDA. But with regard to sharing of KYC by the local banks, it's under process. And uh, uh, banks, mutual funds, and the state banks uh, are finalizing the process to to undertake the local investors through one account. For undertaking one account, that investor wants to directly invest either one way uh, to the capital market, and the other way, other way uh, wants to invest in the mutual fund. So the process are being finalized. Hopefully, uh, in a, uh, in uh, in the mid of September, definitely uh, it will be launched by the uh, banks and the brokers. Right, right. Another very interesting question by Hosema Jamal. What is the minimum deposit account with the brokerage firm to start trading? Uh, every broker uh, sets is limit. Uh, there is no uh, regulatory requirement for uh, uh, giving the minimum deposit or minimum investment amount uh, with the with the broker. It, it depends on the brokerage house, uh, which sets limit. Uh, if they want to have a um, big uh, investment, they have the uh, higher limit set uh, in the brokerage house. And it depends on the brokerage house. It's the policy of the brokerage house. Right, right. And can a student account be used as well for this purpose? Oh, yes. Uh, Student account, there is no uh, as such student account. However, uh, if a per, uh, student can open Sahulat account, uh, it has the uh, uh, features 
like uh, simplified KYC and there is no documentary requirements, there is no requirement of salary slip of proof of occupation. So the student can open the Sahulat account for the investment. And, in, uh, and when they do actually open this account, would you recommend, sir, any platforms or any uh, places where people can go and learn more about this? How to treat all brokerage houses, all brokerage houses which are offering uh, uh, the all brokerage houses open normal trading account as well as Sahulat account. Uh, if any want, anyone wants to uh, learn or understand the uh, processes of account opening, uh, he can go to uh, any brokerage house uh, for details. What about trading in processes. general for trading? Uh, trading in general, uh, in what sense? Uh, okay. Okay, maybe that's not a very relevant question. So let's skip that one. And uh, Afiz Wajid Saab, thank you so much uh, for your time today. What we'll do is after this session, we'll share the slides. So anyone who wants to go through that, learn more about the account opening for everything you need right there. And uh, so if we could also share an email address uh, with the participants uh, later on, and uh, then they could contact on a specific email address if they have uh, any further questions.